Hello, I'm Mrs Blake, I'm Head of Maths. I'm just here to tell you a few um, tips to help your child to revise for exams in the sum in next summer. Just first of all, a little bit of important information. At the moment, we do only have provisional dates and um, they're still um, deciding on when the actual dates are, so these may change, but provisionally, the first paper is on the 27th of May in the morning. Now, that's not unusual to previous years. It's usually towards the end of that week before half term. And then the second paper is um, the week after half term. Again, that's not that much different to previous years, but you'll notice that it's in the afternoon, which is unusual for a maths exam. Um, and then the third paper is a few weeks later um, and, and is later than previous years. And again, that's in the afternoon. Like I've said, these may change, but at the moment, they're the dates we're going with. Now, in maths, there have been no changes to the GCSE maths exam. OK, and as I've already said, the dates aren't that different. So everything that we have studied and that we will be studied um, is still in that maths exam. Now, the other thing to tell you about is equipment that your um, child will need for not should be bringing to every lesson, but certainly for the exams is uh, a scientific calculator, whether doing foundation or higher tier. Um, the most current one is this one on the right. And um, the older version is this one on the left. Any scientific calculator will do, but we do recommend the Casio's and then a geometry set. So a protractor and a compass and a pencil and a ruler for any of those questions that require uh, diagrams. So first of all, let me just tell you about how we as a maths department are supporting your child and what changes we've made. Um, so there's no changes to the scheme that we're doing. There's been no changes to the GCSE. Um, so we have got to teach everything that is always on that GCSE, but support your child. Um, after, after the October half term, we'll have the period five revision classes. Um, the, there's in-school intervention um, for those who who've, have asked for it during the school day. Um, there's also um, the M side to so the foundation classes. They do have an extra lesson on a Thursday afternoon, the majority of them, and that be, will be re used like a re period five revision class. Um, we, are, we have looked at the mocks within the class, um, each class and across the board, and we've identified specific areas from there that we will work on with your children. Um, and we'll do that within class and as part of a regular homework setting. Um, we've got plenty of online resources that we will be using to set as homework, um, to use in class and to tell them about to support so that you can support your child and they can help do a bit of independent revision. And we've also gone through revision techniques for maths and we've explored that in class and a booklet to support has been given to all, as well as um, a list of websites which I have emailed out to all students. The last thing is regular exam practice and feedback to inform the revision. So during um, during the lessons, uh, they'll regularly see exam questions, but they will do regular mini papers, um, which will be marked and there will be feedback from them where there's three focus identities. I'm just going to show you what they'll be given after every time they do a mini paper. So every two three, to three weeks, maybe they'll take a practice maths paper. On here, we have the strengths. Um, that's the areas that they got right on this particular paper. And we have the targets. So this is the areas where they got wrong. Um, obviously, sometimes this can be a little bit overwhelming. So what we do is we pick three areas to focus on. OK, and these three areas are the ones that um, during their independent revision, it's suggested that the pupils go and they look at these three areas to work on those. Um, and they can come to us for help if they need some help with that, or if they need to help to find it. Um, hey, they can do this is on various online resources if they've got any revision guides or anything like that. They can use those. It's, it's whatever best suits your child to do their revision. So how can you help your child revise maths? And sometimes that's a daunting thought to some parents. Um, there's many who say that they, they didn't like maths or they weren't good at maths, but you can help by just showing them how you learn and how you revise or actually learning with them if they're going back over something. So one of the ways is with um, Hegarty Maths. Now, um, obviously most, most weeks um, students do get set Hegarty Maths, although they will be set um, some other stuff um, going forward to help with exam practice. 
and there's many benefits to Hegarty. Uh, one of it is it's um, it's got videos linked to it. It self marks so you can see straight away whether you're going right or wrong. It gives um, a warning if you're getting it wrong straight away, so you've got that second chance. Um, and it really is there to help. Now, what it helps with is the skills. Okay, so it helps with the skills of math and what what it is you need to do to answer these specific questions. So if your child is doing homework or revision and they're stuck, um, there's a few things that they can do to support themselves. So the first one is to watch the video. OK, if they haven't already watched it, definitely watch it. If they have, watch it again. Um, copy down the examples to see if hearing and writing it down the second time helps. So they may not have done that the first time, but sometimes just going through that process of writing it down can really help with building the skills up for maths. And the second thing is to look at the building blocks. So these are the lessons that will help with the current homework. So they're things that make up um, the skills behind this particular one. So as we can see here, we've got a task and we've got three building blocks below. Now, if your building blocks are low, so this task here is um, quite a low score indicated by the red. If they've struggled with this task, they are likely to struggle with the task they set. So it's a good idea to first go back and have a go at this one because this feeds into this and that's what the building blocks are. So have a look at the building blocks. Make sure that you're clear with what comes previously, the prerequisite knowledge to this homework or this revision. So when they're doing either a set task or one that they found themselves for revision, there will always be an example that will cover an almost identical question. To the one they're set okay so you can pull up the video so what you can do is you can click watch video and this example will be pretty much the same as the question here but the numbers are changed because that's what maths is techniques are always the same numbers change it's identifying which techniques they need to use so sometimes watching that can really help them to do that question why should your child watch the video um, quite often students don't like watching the video and if they're fine with their homework just answering the questions is okay and um, it's if they're struggling with something or they've forgotten something that watching the video we believe really helps so this is just five reasons we think so um and this this comes from the hegarty website so it's the motivation behind Hegarty, they say ensures your child will be successful. So um, if they're struggling and they watch the video because it's all linked to the questions, it should really help them to have a go at that homework that they've been struggling with and give them that confidence to, to move forward. Um, you don't want somebody sat at home thinking, oh, I can't do anything and they've got no help. So that's where the videos in Hegarty come in. Um, number two, it helps improve their memory. So just copying down that modelled example kind of brings it into your long term memory and it helps you to get um, the skills that are needed. Um, and that helps with lots of different kind of revision. Number three is method marks. Now, and more importantly in maths more recently is method marks. Um, obviously, lots of people like or dislike math because there's a right or wrong answer. Method marks really are important, especially now that there's some uh, bigger mark questions in the papers. And it's sometimes it won't be that everybody can answer that question correctly, but hopefully they can get some of the marks, particularly later on in the paper for a lot of students. So by copying down the model examples, it helps them to practice how to lay out their maths and hopefully ultimately get the question right. But if not, to get some of those method marks that they may have not been getting previously. Number four, then it's good revision. OK, sometimes we have to um, look over something that we already know when we're rising just to keep it um, at the forefront of our minds and to, to be there so that when we do the exam, it's there. Um, so it's good sometimes to watch a video, even if you think you know um, what you're doing, just as that part of the revision. Um, it's hard sometimes to read about maths and to follow an example in a book, but watching somebody model it is a, is a good way of doing it. And the fifth thing is that we think it's important as it helps your child be independent. OK, so it gives them that chance to have a look um, at something, to go and find a task on their own or to do their homework task, to watch the video to support themselves. Now, obviously, if they've done all that and they're still struggling, we're here and we can help. But um, it's a good way of your child, if they are struggling, of finding some help on their own to answer the question. So. 
where can my child find revision resources other than Hegarty, obviously? Like I've said, Hegarty is all about the skills, which is good, but sometimes pupils need that exam practice. So one place is to go on WISE, to click Key Stage 4, and then GCSE Revision. And here there's a whole host of revision resources and more is being added all the time. Um, so you've got checklists, you've got the language of maths exam, you've got revision timetables, um, graded questions, exam papers, model answers, textbooks, other videos that may help. So there's lots and lots on there that your child can use to support their revision. So what other online resources, resources are useful? Well, the first one we'd say is uh, Dr. Frost Maths. Now, this was used during lockdown and set up for all students. If they've forgotten their password or anything like that, they can just ask their maths teacher. So Dr. Frost Maths is similar to Hegarty in that it's an online platform where there's videos, there's questions and things like that. But as well as just skills, it's got a lot of exam practice on there. And that's what we find the students need. Sometimes they can do the skills, but they can't apply it in an exam. And it's just getting used to that so so if your child goes to uh, drfossmaths.com they can log in using the email they they were set up with it which is usually the school email and like i said if there's any problems just they can ask their maths teacher who can sort it out for them and um, this is what a student sees when they log in and um, so they've got all their information here about what they've done and how well they're doing um, but there's lots of like i said revision resources on here so if they go to resources um, there's a whole section there on Key Stage 4 resources. Um, there's also loads of videos, loads of uh, questions that they can just practice skills, key skills and things like that. Um, but that's the specific uh, resources um, part of it. Now, if they've got any work set, if they click work set, it'll be up there. Um, but that'll be clear on their home screen if they have got their work set. If they go to practice, like I've mentioned, there's key skills, which, as it says, is practicing the key skills, but they can practice by topic. They can have a go at some past papers. If there's any worksheets that us as teachers have made, they can do that. So there's loads of them to practice there. And then there's also the assess part. So in the assess, they've got the topic test where it's got particular topics and it's got exam questions on that. They can have a look at how they've done uh, progress by topic and they can have a look at their activity timeline. And as I said, I really do think this is a great resource um, for students to use. And it, it's, it works well alongside Hegarty, where it is just the key skills, where it's got the exam practice there as well. Second one um, is on maths. Now, on maths, um, I found it a couple of years ago. It's a really good website. It has videos again as well. Um, so sometimes if, say, the Hegarty video or the Dr. Foss video doesn't help, finding somebody else explaining it can help. But what's really good about this, it has these mini mocks. So these are exam questions um, as a, like a paper and you, you put your answers in online. Um, and it grades you as you're going along. Now, obviously, nobody really knows the grade boundaries of an exam until it's done. But it kind of gives you a, a rough idea based on past grade boundaries what it's going to be. Now, for those who um, are aiming higher and aiming for top grades of grade eight and grade nine, there's something called demons. Now, these demons are like some of the hardest papers they've put together. Um, so it's a harder GCSE paper. So it's just a paper full of it. OK, and they can do those. And again, it'll, it'll grade them on the percentage they're getting as they go along. There's predicted papers. So that's looking at um, what they think is going to come up on the next GCSE that's uh, available. And there's topics where you can choose um, foundation or higher um, topics to have a go at. Third one is Corbett Maths. Um, they do something called uh, five a day. So this is just five quick questions um, to have a go at and they're at different levels. So you've got um, your, your lower foundation and your higher foundation. You've got your crossover. So those who are on the uh, four, five, six borderline. So that's your foundation and your higher questions that appear on both. You've got your higher and then your higher plus, which is um, aiming at grade eight and nine again. There's videos again on here. There's worksheets, practice papers. Um, there's everything. So again, it's another good website for um, your child to have a look. And number four, Mr. Barton Maths. Again, another website with a lot of resources on. So you can go to MrBartonMaths.com. Okay, and if, there's lots of different things on here for teachers and students. But if you click students, and then GCSE Maths. 
you've got a whole heap of resources there. So you've got topic revision, you've got uh, questions of the week, you've got um, infinite questions and answers, um, interactive notes and examples and walking, talking topics. That's where um, Mr. Barton will walk you through a, a set of questions and talk you through what, what you're doing. Uh, it's similar to like a walking, talking mock, which is something we've used before where you talk, talk um, the class through what they are doing um, so that they can attempt the question and talk to them about the best way to do these particular questions. And remember, last thing with revision for maths, our motto is practice makes permanence and it really does. Thank you for listening. Bye.